G'day, welcome to the Tech Math channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a way of multiplying using lines. And this is a bit of a uh, an add-on to a video I've already made, multiplying using lines. And this is going to be looking where we are and how we can deal with, say we had a zero in the number or numbers that are bigger numbers, say uh, six, sevens, eights, and those sort of numbers, and numbers above five. Uh, so the type of questions we were looking at in this last video, I'll put a link up for this, by the way, is these sorts of ones. Um, so I'll put the link up just during when I'm explaining this, uh, it's this type of question. So say we had 13 times 12. And the way that we do this is as follows. We draw the 13, we're going to be doing it using lines, okay? We did this using lines, so we went as follows. We did the 13 like this, 1 and 1, 2, 3, okay? That's 13. And 12, we do this way, 1 and 1, 2 for 12. Okay, and then what we do is we separate these up into the far corner here on the right is the units part. The next two going along is the tens part. And the next one going along is the hundreds part. And we simply count intersections to get our answers. I'll show you what I mean by this. We went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the units was a 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The tens was a 5. And the hundreds was a 1. So our answer... 156. So that's so that's a good little method. So like I said, the, the link should be up there uh, to, to do this. If, if not, please remind me. I'm, I'm, okay, occasionally I make that <laughs> error when I do that. So I'm going to show you first off, I mean, because you can imagine, first off, this doesn't account for the number zero. Uh, what do we do if we have that? But also what we do if we have big numbers. Say so, yeah, all of a sudden you'd have lots and lots of intersections and how we can go about uh, working to eradicate that problem. So we'll have a bit of a look. Okay. Uh, look, I'm going to be using colours. You might use a slight variance if you only have one colour using, say, dash lines or dots or something like this. Okay. So I'll give you an example uh, how we would deal with zero. So say we had 207 times 12. So first off, when we do this, I'm going to be doing a couple of different colour lines. I'm going to, where we're just dealing with one, so that where I'm doing, say, one and one, two, for, I'm going to use a blue line, so that's going to denote sort of where ones are crossing one another. Just bear with us if you don't get this for the minute. For zeros, I'm going to use a different colour line, which is going to be red. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean with this. So say, when I do 207 now, what I'm going to be doing is, say, 200, I'm going to do one, two. For the hundreds part, for that zero part, sorry, that, that was the hundreds part, for the zero part, I'm going to put a zero like that, just a... a red line and the seven I'm going to draw seven lines I'll show you how to deal with this I think on the next question we'll just deal with this variance so four five six seven and twelve we had one and one two okay and you're going to see here I'll just extend those out a little bit you're going to see look it's not perfect it's but you sort of can visualize uh, that this is we have the units part here, the far right part, we have the next one along, and the next one along, which is our tens, we have the next ones along, which are our hundreds, and the next ones along, which is going to be thousands. So we're going to count intersections. Now the big difference will be here, is where we're going to have these red lines intersection, and you'll, and you'll see what we do with these. So first off for the units, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 there. So we're going to put four of these down. I'm going to put the answer up here, running our space down here, and we're going to carry this one. Okay. Where we have these intersections here, that's like zero times one. Okay, these are those ones over here are like one times one, and we're counting them as one, because one times one is one. These are like zero times one. So zero times one is zero, so we're going to be able to ignore those. So we're just going to count these where the blue ones cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus that one we carried is going to be eight. Uh, once again, we have where the red's crossing the, the, the blue, where there's the zero on the one cross, so we're just ignoring that, and we're going to go one, two, three, four. And in the thousands, we have two. So our answer is 2,484. How did you go with that, okay? I'll tell you what, I'll go through how I deal with... Uh, the bigger numbers because we had that seven there and you saw you saw probably it was getting very uh, cumbersome and there was a lot of uh, you know a lot of lines and that sort of deal in intersections that makes it a little bit harder so we do have a way that we can deal with those okay 
So say we had uh, a load about 109, and to this we're going to multiply 72. Okay, now we've got a couple of big numbers here, we've got the 9, we've got the 7, we'll also put a 0 in there, just to deal with that extra little uh, layer of uh, joy there. So, 109, I'll show you how we're going to do this. So the 100 stays the same, okay, the 100, this is 1 and the 0 part of that, you probably guessed, is this. To do the 9, I'm going to use now a third colour, okay, uh, I'll use black, and what this is going to be is where we get a 5, okay. So the, we'd, we'd do a, a 9, so at this we'd have a 5, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, for the 7, we're going to have, yeah, we're going to start up here, and we're going to have 1, and you probably guessed it, 1, 2, and for the 2 part, we're going to have 1, 2. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and separate up our units. So I start on this far bit here, and I circle those. The next part, the tens, circle these. The next part I'm going to circle is the hundreds. And the next part I'm going to circle, I'm just going to redo that bit, it was a little bit rough. Okay, I'll circle that one, and then the thousands. So. There's a bit of a difference here, and I'll, I'll talk about when we get to, actually we're going to get to that straight away, because what you're going to see is where the black crosses the blue. This is like 5 times 1, so we're going to count each one of these black crosses blue as 5 times 1, as 5. So 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And 8, carry the 1. Where the red's crossing something, it's a 0 times something, so it's a nothing, uh, it's a 0, sorry. Uh, now this one's got a few little variations, this one's got where black's crossing black, that's for 5 times a 5, 5 5 is a 25, and where blue's crossing white, 1 times 5, which is 5, so 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, so that's going to become a 4, we're going to carry the 6, the reds are all going to be counted out, so we've only got 1, 2 here, so 2 plus 6 is 8, Okay, I'll get rid of that, and here we have 5, 5, 6, 7. So our answer, 7,848, and that's a way that you can deal with these, okay? Rather than getting lots and lots of intersections. Okay, what about I go through a couple more, where you, you try to answer them, so you see how you go, okay? And yeah, you might make mistakes with this, it's... it's it's a good little visual method. Uh, it's not necessarily always the fastest method, I must say. Okay, so 206 times 14. What about you give that a go? Pause that, give it a go, see how you go. Maybe if you haven't got a... Maybe if you haven't got a coloured pen, you could use dash lines here and dotted lines for the five or, or something. Whichever you'll be good with. So... Anyway, the way that we'd do this is as follows, 206, hopefully you got the answer, I'm just going to start doing it now, I know you can pause me, so 200, and 6, did you get a, oh, look at that, I've gone the wrong colour there, I'll get rid of these, so I'll get rid of those, so 200, and 6, and we get times that by 14, so 1, and one, two, three, and I'll move that one up there, four. So now I've got to get that joyous part of uh, trying to circle these, okay? So this is our units. This is going to be our tens part. This is going to be our hundreds. And over here we have our thousands. Did you get something that looked like this? Let's count. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's 24. Carry the 2. These cancel out, so we're just left with 5, 6, plus 2 is 8. We have, this cancels out, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And over here we have 1, 2. Our, th our answer is 2,884. Okay, I'll give you one last one of these. Hopefully you went really well with that. Hopefully you're, you, you can... If you didn't, you see where you, you've made the mistake. That's okay. As, as you saw, I made a mistake when I started doing it. So, you know, it's, 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 it's easy to do. So, uh, 607 times 24. Okay, last question. 
give us a go. Okay, so pause it. All right, 607 times 24, so we have. I'll do this fairly quickly, okay? So this is our 6. Make that a bit bigger. And 107. Uh, 107. Hopefully you've gotten something that looks a bit like this. Times 24. So we have uh, 24, which is 1, 2, and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and you see I'm being fairly whatever here. As long as you can keep your, what you're doing in your head and what you're doing fairly straight, you're pretty good. That's the units. It's going to be the tens. This one here is going to be our hundreds and that one there is going to be our thousands. Alright, so no problem. Let's count them. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Put the 8 down there, put the 2 over here, cross this one out because it's got the red there. Okay, so 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Put the 6 there, move the 1 over here. Then we can count this one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And this one's cancelled out, so put that there, 5 there, carry the 2, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Our answer, 14,568. So how'd you go with that? That's how you can go about dealing with the uh, fives and the zeros. It's, it's not a bad method. Anyway, let us know what you think of that. Uh, I know it's not going to be great still when you do 99 times 99 or 99 times 998. Alright, uh, it does still get fairly whatever with that, but that's just the way you might modify it. I hope that helps anyway. Alright, see ya. Bye.